like just barely out of bounds. Did you just did everything just click for you, right? Yeah, we um just like I said, we prepped really well, we had a great week of practice, you know, we're, we're all boys, we you know we had to you know we had to control the game. We came out guns blazing, you know, we left it all on the field. On a swing like this, are there extra things that you have to worry about when we're playing? Or do you just act as if it's not raining and you know it's being any element can happen in the course of the game. Uh, we play in the rain, I mean, yeah, all of us play the rain. We play in football in our lives, so you know, we know how to adjust to it. You know, just you know, keep the ball dry, and we have towels, and wipe our hands off with it. You know, uh, just got to keep playing ball. Um, Coach Tedford said the uh, pitch to EC, the fumble on the second play of the game, was supposed to be a handoff. What happened there? And the uh, just play? a boneheaded play by me, you know, um, just you know, overlooking the run play as much as you know, the pass plays. So I'm really focused on, you know, I'm just, you know, I didn't read the call as hard as well as I should, you know, and uh, pitch the ball. And, you know, EC wasn't even looking at me, he was looking at you know, his read off the tackle, I guess, and uh, pitched the ball right to him, hit him in the hands. And, you know, it just slid out and it was away and Ken almost got on the ball and you know, it slipped right out of his hands. And that's my goal. That's what I mean. You weren't able to find Ken in the last half of the game, the last three quarters of the game. What was Stanford doing differently uh, to keep him from being open? Uh, as you all know, he's a great receiver. They don't want to get the ball. So, you know, like double team or triple team or whatever they can do to you know, get him out to play. You know, and that, and that open up for the lanes for other receivers. And also, running back, check down was there. I see they did a great job getting down, getting down the field and making a couple guys miss. You know, no, he's played well. It seems like, like Stanford's offense was on the field a lot for the second half. As well as you were playing and as well as the offense was playing, was that frustrating for you guys to be on the sideline and not on the field? It was kind of frustrating. He's actually running the ball a lot, you know, right up the middle. You know, had a lot of big guys on the field, and there was a great push up the ball. Our defense did a great job moving, you know, on the top of they did. Uh, it was kind of frustrating because they were just moving hands with him and killing the clock for us. It's hard to pass back, you know, we have to hurry up and have the right team in offense, you know, and get the ball in his own quick, and we did, it's a lot of time. He's like, just, to go, about, just to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Stanford for 60 minutes in a three-point game, what's that say about this team, about your team? Um, yeah, we have matured a lot throughout the season. You know, the first couple of games, we had some bad games, we had some great games, you know, it was up and down for us, and now we're really starting to control the game, we're starting to maintain course throughout the game. We prepare well, you know, we know we have a great team. You talk a little bit about Jackson Booz, that he hadn't gotten any playing time all year, but he's a guy that catches everything in practice. And right. It's a pretty tough situation coming late in the game and you know, pulling a couple catches like that. So Jackson was ready. Uh, we talked about it all week, you know, uh, just be ready at any given time, anything can happen. You know, he stepped up well. You know, made a couple catches across the middle, made a great catch, and throw around, and focused in, you know, locked on the ball, and you know, he came up and, you know, big time player showed up a big time game, so he's a huge player for us. That was really the first time all season you guys had to run the no huddle in a pressure situation. You know, and you handled yourself reasonably well. How did you feel about that whole uh, last series? Uh, we prepare well for it. We do a couple times in practice um, just to get that vibe. You know, we do certain situations. Um, you know, we just had a situation tonight so where we had to score. Uh, we did a great job. You know, we uh, controlled the game and we had to manage the clock well. You know, how many timeouts we had. And we did a great job. You're already bowl eligible, but how important would it be to finish the year on a win against Arizona State? It would be very important for us. You know, uh, bowl, you're already bowl eligible. You know, just say you beat Arizona State, you know, have seven wins, you know, and it would be a better tournament for our record. Zach, what do you think turned the tide there a little bit in the third quarter? You know, about, what do you think turned the tide a little bit in the third quarter when Stanford kind of assumed command there a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's like I said, he was burning the clock on this year. But, uh, you know, Andrew made a couple – a couple of nice balls down the field, you know, out the flats. And, uh, uh, I guess we didn't have guys in the flats cover the flats really in tight end, just wide open, you know, pick up you know, significant yards towards the sideline. You know, they just managed the game well. Yeah, time for two more questions. Zach, all in all, how was your first big game experience? It was great. Um, very exciting. Uh, from the bonfire last night to, you know, actually playing in the game, it was, it was huge for us. Uh, a lot of fans showed up tonight, you know, we had a lot of support out here. You know, uh, the big game at Stanford, you know, with the top 10 team, it's going to be loud and it's going to be hostile. So, you know, we matched the game. We did a great job. Part of my boys, part of my team. Do you kind of feel like your boys kind of fed off your emotion a little bit, your personally, a little bit tonight? Uh, yeah, we feel off um, everybody. You know, you see a guy down, you know, we try to pick him back up or, you know, we feed off each other. So, we, we all, you know, we be in control of the game. You know, they're excited. You know, we all going to be locked in and focused. You know, we had to maintain focus. That's the one thing. Coach Tepper, you know, he, uh, we really hit on that this week. You know, being a big game, big rival game, it's a lot going on during the course of the week. You know, it's a rival game, so 
we just have to maintain focus and do a great job. Thanks, Zach.